Hello everyone. Today our topic is agent solicitation. Okay, and last class we have discussed about agent discovery. Under agent discovery, we have two types: agent advertisements and agent solicitation. Agent advertisements ad advertisement means foreign agents will advertise their presence in front of mobile nodes so that mobile node can choose its uh, uh, foreign and uh, foreign network best foreign network whereas agent solicitation means if at all no advertisements are present if at all no foreign agent is uh, advertising their presence or inter arrival time is too high uh, if, if a foreign agent is taking too much of time to ad advertise their presence then MN will not be receiving any COA. If MN is not receive, uh, receiving any COA means it cannot stay in that network. So that time uh, it will become a problem for mobile node to maintain its communication. So that is the reason mobile node itself will solicit, solicit messages means it will it will advertise its presence like i am i came out of my home network now i need a shelter okay that is nothing but agent solicitation so it is possible for a mobile node to solicit so solicit agent advertisement to avoid waiting for an agent to advertise so agent solicitation messages are used to avoid the waiting time okay some may choose not to advertise at all. So some mobile nodes will not uh, solicit any messages and they will wait for foreign agent advertisements only. For example, agents residing on a link where some form of agent discovery is possible through the use of a link layer protocol. That time, agent or mobile node will not advertise or will not solicit any messages. And this is permitted only by the mobile IP standard, not for all. Okay, and these mobile IP agent advertisements uses the same procedures and uh, it defaults and consents as specified for ICMP router discovery. Okay, means if a mobile node will is not received any CVA by any other means, then it should send agent solicitations messages. These solicitations are again based on the same RFC 1256 for router solicitations. So here care must be taken to ensure that these solicitation messages do not flood the network, do not disturb the network. Means a mobility agent, a mobility agent is required to limit the rate at which it sends broadcast or multicast advertisement. Means basically a mobile node can search for an foreign agent endlessly sending out solicitation messages but these solicitation messages should not flood the network if it floods the network then network will get disturbed and it will it, it will become a problem for the network to send the remaining important messages so typically a mobile node can send out only few messages, few solicit, is, uh, solicit messages which should not flood the network. So a foreign agent must accept and respond to solicitations even if the source IP address in the solicitation does not appear to come from the foreign agent own subnet. If it are unable to find out the immense source IP address also, foreign agent have to accept and respond to the solicit messages of mobile node. So a mobility agent may be configured to only send advertisement as a respond to the solicitations. So here the agent have to respond to the solicit messages by the foreign mobile node but it should not flood the messages even foreign agent even mobile node these two should not flood the network by their advertisement messages or solicitation messages and these solicitation messages 
should limit the uh, limit it message means typically a mobile node can send only three solicitation messages and these three solicitation messages will be sent one per second in one second one solicitation message like that it has to send the messages as soon as it enters a new network so whenever mobile node moves out of the home network one per second one solicitation per second uh, has to be sent not many in one second it should be noted that in highly you may think that like in one second one solicitation messages will be very late but very fast like uh, second means what? just a blink of eye okay in that one second one solicitation messages means it is like uh, we are uh, solicitation messages are uh, very uh, too fast you may think like that but you know in highly dynamic wireless network with moving mobile nodes and so many applications which requires continuous packet streams. For that, even one second interval between solicitation messages looks too long. So this one second, one solicitation per one second is not uh, too fast. Okay, it is uh, limited only. It is okay. Except the MN may solicit more often than once every 3 seconds and a mobile node that is connected to foreign agent may solicit more than maximum solicitations. No, no it is not a problem. Before an, a mobile node gets a new address, many packets will be lost without additional mechanisms. So that is the reason for one second, one solicitation message is needed. That is not a fast time. Okay. But if a node does not receive any answer to its solicitations, what happens? Mobile node is now sent three solicitation messages in three seconds. But still mobile node uh, is not received any answer to its solicitation messages. Then what a mobile node should do is it has to decrease the rate of solicitation exponentially to avoid flooding the network until it reaches a maximum interval between solicitations. Means it has to limit the solicitation messages. So one uh, one per second is now decreased and here now mobile node will exponentially decrease the time until it reaches the maximum interval between solicitations. So now mobile node will decrease its time to one minute. So after this three uh, solicitation messages mobile node will send solicitation messages one per one minute now so it has decreased the time so now discovering a new agent can be done at any time so if at all mobile node is not willing to accept any uh, advertisement any foreign agent advertisement though foreign is foreign agent is advertising its present if mobile node is not liking or it if it is not willing to take that then mobile node can accept that first and even after accepting that it can choose or it can wait for other agent advertisement so that it can jump from one foreign agent to another foreign agent so not if the mobile node is not connected to only one but if it is wanting if mobile node is looking for a better connection while still sending the uh, messages from the old path where it has chosen, it can still search for other foreign agents. This is the case while moving through several cells of different wireless networks. So, mobile node 
can choose one foreign agent through the advertisements staying in that foreign agent it can also choose other foreign agents for uh, for the better connection okay after these steps of advertisements or solicitations the mobile node can now receive the coa okay soon after accepting the agent advertisement or agent solicitation a mobile node will receive the care of address either one for foreign agent or for a co-located coa if it is in the home network or if it is in the foreign network it will receive one for foreign agent and one for co-located coa so one coa will be received by, uh, by mobile node so now the mobile node knows its location whether it is a home network or foreign network so if a mobile node is in the foreign network and it is moved out of the foreign network now again after moving out of the foreign network mobile node will not be knowing which one is the home network and which one is the foreign network but after receiving the coa after receiving the advertisements after receiving the coa mobile node will now understands or knows its location whether it is staying in the home location or in the foreign location so the next step after accepting the coa after accepting the advertisement the mn registration so soon after accepting the agent advertisement or agent solicitation messages the next process is nothing but registration with the home agent or foreign agent so uh, uh, advertising uh, advertising messages or solicitation messages accepting is not the thing but soon after uh, if a mobile node is willing to accept any advertisement from the foreign agent then it has to register with the foreign agent first so after this agent advertisements and after this agent solicitation messages mobile node have to perform the registration process okay this is about agent solicitation messages okay thank you